The Surface Pro 11 with a Snapdragon X Plus is here, and I wanted to put it to the test using creative apps like Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. No benchmarks, just real-world usage. How will they perform? So I have my Samsung SSD plugged in right now, and the first thing I'm going to test will be Premiere Pro, because I know a lot of people are eager to know how that performs under emulation. So I'm going to go ahead and open up 2023. 2024 did not work, by the way. It, it throws an error. So you can see this opens up pretty quickly. I mean, for it not being an ARM version, that's pretty good in my opinion. Okay, so we're in. The first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I think I'm gonna start with H.264 since that's one of the most popular formats. Um, it's not ideal for editing and this is something I really want to touch because out of all the reviews I've seen that focus on editing, people are using H.265 to edit and render and a serious editor is not going to use H.265 to edit. I'm sorry, guys, but that is not what you do. You either use ProRes, DNX HD, or H.264 if you have no other choice. And if you have H.265, then you should probably use proxies. Proxies, okay? So I'm going to load up this footage here from a cross-country trip. Um, this was in uh, Monument Valley. So the files are important right now. 4096 by 2304. So they're from a Ursa Mini, like 4.6K. So I'm going to just drag them onto the timeline. My footage is very shaky. However, you can't, let me put this preview in full so you can see. And so far so good, right? It doesn't seem to be underperforming, but it doesn't have any effects at all. So I'm going to drag Lumetri onto the adjustment layer and add my LUT. This was already color graded in DaVinci Resolve. So there you go. Like I said, this is already color graded in Resolve. I just exported a LUT so that you guys can see. Uh, because Lumetri is very GPU intensive and CPU as well. So it has the potential to slow things down. So I'm going to make some adjustments here, even though it's already color graded. Let's, uh, you can see highlights here. Notice it takes just a little bit of time in making these changes. There's a little bit of a delay, but it's not the end of the world. And then let's adjust contrast. All right, so I think that should do it for now. It kind of looks like crap, but... <laughs> um, so let's play back and see what happens. Okay. So it's definitely not good. Um, this can be easily uh, fixable by maybe turning down the uh, playback resolution to half. Let's see how that performs. Okay, that's, I mean, it's a lot better. There's a little bit of a hiccup here and there. Yeah, so it's it's still kind of slow. What I would do is um, lower it even, even more to a quarter and see what happens. I think that did the trick. I mean, yeah. And it doesn't seem to, I don't notice any significant decrease in playback quality, even though it's a quarter. So you can scrub through and yeah, there's a delay, but there's a delay in showing the, the frame. But if you actually start editing, it's really not bad. Yeah, so I would say if you're using something like Lumetri, 
um, or Lumetri, I honestly don't know how to say it. Uh, you should, you sh you're going to experience a uh, hiccup, but as long as you turn down the playback quality, you'll be completely fine. And this is H.264, which again is uh, not ideal and it's very uh, resource intensive. So let's, I'm gonna, I don't have audio in this, but it should be fine. Now I'm dragging this ProRes 422 footage here. That was pretty quick also. Uh, let's change sequence settings. That's me. Uh, this is for a personal project. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you don't have to see the mic. Yeah, and you can see that plays back completely smooth. This is also 4K Ultra HD. And it, it doesn't have any effects, but it's pretty workable. I mean, if you jump through the timeline, there is no delay at all. And in my opinion, this is the best codec for, for editing. Let's do the same thing. Let's, let's drag Lumetri here and add a lot. There you go. And let's play that back in full resolution and see what happens. Wow, that's okay. Yeah. It's slowing down as well, but again, let's try half. Okay, this is this is great. I mean, this is half resolution and it's playing back smoothly. So, if you scroll through, there's no performance hit over here. And this is the X+, plus. it's not even the Elite. Let's say you have a three minute video. I'm gonna end it here. Then we're gonna export this. And we're gonna choose H264 and export and see what happens. Okay, so three minute video, Lumetri, and you're getting a, like an eight minute render time, which is not great but it's not the end of the world. So I cancel that and I'm gonna remove this effect. And let's say you're not doing any color grading, which is unlikely, but let's try and see what the render times are without having an effect there. That's a lot better, of course. So for a three minute video, it's four minutes. So there you go. Now I'm gonna open up Resolve. I have my dongle right here and we'll see how long it takes. So that was like 12 seconds, which is funny because this is natively for ARM, whereas Premiere Pro was not, but it loaded a lot quicker. So I'm going to be using the same ProRes 422 footage that you guys saw of me. So I had a power grade. It didn't work. So I'm just going to manually go through correction here. I use a lot that's for my Blackmagic Ursa to get it in like an okay place. I think it's this one. Yeah. So that already looks pretty good. I'm going to make some adjustments here on the first node. It works pretty well. There's no noticeable slowdown here. It's good. And then contrast. Yeah, it's a little overdone, but let's keep it that way. So I'm playing it back and I'm getting 24 frames per second. Again, this is UHD and it seems to be working really well. However, I only have one lot and some corrections on the first note. So let me add another one, maybe a different lot. Okay. I'm still getting 24 frames per second. There's a little bit of a slowdown, just a little bit. However, I think, again, that can be fixed 
by going into playback timeline proxy resolution and choosing half. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's great. Let's go back to full resolution and then add an effect, an effect that's very CPU and GPU intensive, which is um, film grain. I'm just gonna look it up here. 35. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's to be expected though. So we're getting 12 now with a lot of effects and I'm gonna play it back in half resolution, see if that helps. It seems like it's playing back okay. Um, it's a little bit, yeah, I think that works. However, you can also choose quarter and however, that's gonna, yeah, it's not gonna look great. But I think by choosing half, even with the, uh, the film grain, it's it's playing back pretty well. Let's assess uh, timeline performance here. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. I'm going to remove the film grain and maybe try to export it like this. Let's do an H.264 master. Uh, change this to video. Add to render. Uh, let's do videos here. Okay, so this is taking approximately 14 minutes. And this is a pretty long clip. I believe this is 17 minutes. If we go to task manager, we can see um, that it's using the GPU and I have 16 gigs and it's only at 81%. So it's definitely making use of the GPU here, unlike Premiere, which I didn't show you, but Premiere is only using like 2% of the GPU, even with GPU effects, effects like uh, Lumetri. So we can see that it went up to 18, because if this is an 18 minute video, you're getting about one frame per second at export. I can hear the fang, the fans kicking in. It's hot, I'm not gonna lie, but I mean, we're really pushing this 